One of the most exciting new developments in lure fishing over the past couple of seasons has been the arrival on the scene of these octa style jigs. The original of these, and still in my opinion the best, are the Lucanuses from Japan. They're an amazing looking lure. They've got a teardrop shaped lead head, luminous eyes, and these tentacles made from shredded rubber and a couple of flat rubber strips as well. They're very, very lifelike in the water and give an excellent imitation of a little octopus, a small squid, or a little cuttlefish just pulsing along above the bottom. The tentacles work their way up and down. The head provides plenty of weight so that they're swimming on the drop. Now the hooking arrangement is quite interesting too. Two quite small octopus style hooks on heavy Kevlar droppers. These seem like way too small a hooks for this size lure, but the Japanese study these things really closely and they worked out that the way that fish eat these lures is best suited to the use of small hooks like these ones. The tackles match to it as well. You can use them on spinning tackle, but we're finding them much better to use on overhead gear because you've got control of the lure while it's sinking as well as while you're lifting it through the water column. You really need to have your thumb hovering over the spool as this octa jig descends towards the bottom. Then when you make contact with the bottom, push the lever drag up or engage the gears and just wind it up 15, 20 turns off the bottom, giving little jigs of the rod tip as you do. It's all about slow presentation. You don't need to work these lures fast. The current and the drift will keep the skirt pulsating just like a real critter. Lift them up a little bit, jig them around, drop them back down again. Lift, drop, and when a fish comes along, they tend to eat their way up the back of their tentacles. It's often not a big smash and grab. It's a series of bites, much like when you were bait fishing. And you actually need to wait for the rod to load up and start to bend in the tip, and then you can just lift into the fish. Don't strike aggressively or you'll miss a lot of fish. And then when you do hook them, nice, smooth pump and wind. You don't want to be jerking around too hard on these small hooks. Steady pressure is what it's all about. Oh yeah. Misty. Good series of bites. So I'll just drop it back to the bottom again. And just wind it up and I got him this time. Oh. Yeah, there's a cobia here. Look at that. Two of them I think. Uh-oh, this is gonna get interesting. My fish is coming up higher in the water now, which is good. Yeah. Pretty happy about that. That was the first drop on that wreck that we found. Might go back up there and see if there's any more. See if we can get Bargy onto one. <laughs> I need a rest. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs>